Hey, what's up guys? We're playing some more Pal World. Today, we're going to beat the last three boss towers in hard mode. I'm talking Marcus, I'm talking Victor, and I'm talking Saya. We're going to do the classic four gobfins in my inventory, riding a pal that makes my attack super effective, um, and some quad missile launchers. We're going to do all that fun stuff, and we're going to do that first. So we're going to go ahead, let's just do it right now. We're going to start right away, beat those three, and then after... I want to do something a little weird. Something that I don't think many people do. But we'll save that for after the fights. Alright, let's get into the fights. Here we go. Next up is Phalaris. Now, what in the world do we fight Phalaris with? Okay, so Water Pals is what's recommended for this next one. And we just so happened to have quite a few... Very good water pals. Um, let's just pick the right. Oh, should we ride one? Is that the move? No, it's not. Okay, who is my best Jormantide? See, you two are pretty good, actually. Well, that one's 2100. I think that might be the one. You, I think, I think you're the one here. Do I have any other decent Jormantides? Why are... Where are all of this? I swear I had more than that. Okay, well, either way. We'll use that Jormantide. Alright. Get another burger. Give a burger to that. Screw it. We're going in. Here we go. No relaxation. We're going straight into this. Alright, let's jump down. Try not to lose too much HP here from... The heat. We want to make sure we do it hard mode. There we go. All right. A new uh, tide here should be pretty nasty. I'm hoping. Again, it's all water moves, so should be pretty good. Okay. I feel like half of those didn't even hit. I don't know where they went, but they definitely didn't hit. And my tide is gone. All right. Not looking so hot. Hey, why are you there? Why are you there? I need you to hit that. Thank you. There we go. Okay, what do we do? Do I just try to fight this thing, like, on my own? I feel like I'm... Oh, that, why didn't I just stay in... I could have just stayed in the circle. I am an idiot. I feel like if I'm good at this game, I should be able to just fight it alone. But my HP is kind of already low. That's what scares me. We'll try. Oh, but I'm gonna have to. F oh, I'm gonna have to focus up so hard. Oh my god, that's a tornado! I'm about to go see Twister in theaters. Like what? Well, that's gonna. Oh, dodged. Am I the greatest player of all time if I beat this without a pal? Here we go. Okay. What do you... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's not fine. Oh my god, why is it so... Why aren't I reloading? Okay. Oh, please. I need to get one more bullet in. Oh my god, are we gonna do it? Baby! Hard mode Marcus and Phalaris. Holy crap, we even got the Marcus hat. Oh, I basically took that entire fight without Jormantide, which kind of sucks. But, we did it. Okay, are we hot? Let's go home. So, wait, how many How many did we... We did Zoe, Lily, Axel, Marcus. So, Victor, and then Saya and Celine. Okay, what is Shadowbeak again? Okay, I guess we could ride a chill it, right? I think we can roll with that. Who is my best chill it? You. Okay, so we're gonna ride a chill it. I think that's probably our best bet here. Here we go. 
reload our launchers. We're kind of running out of ammo here. So, if I don't beat it in the first couple attempts, I might have to put a pause on this to get some more. Alright, let's get a burger. Oh, let's get some carbonara out for the chillet. Okay, I think we're good. Here we go. Wait, who is it? Shadowbeak? Yeah, you're right here, aren't you? Yeah. That's the one. Victor. We beat you once before. We're going to beat you again. This time on hard mode. And then we'll, we'll see how Saya and Selene go. Me, I'll, I will give it an attempt. I actually don't know if I can beat that one. I should be able to. Alright, I think we're ready. Here we go. Back to... Victor and Shadow Beacon. This time, I will try not to die before I even get into the dungeon. No promises, though. Here we go. Pink water bucket. All right, so we're going to go and do hard mode. Here we go. So we're going to try to jump on the chillet as soon as possible and start throwing rockets. Here we go. He's not taking a lot of damage, which kind of sucks. All right, let's try this again. What is the worst that can happen, right? Maybe third time's a charm? As long as my chillet doesn't attack right away. That's That was kind of the problem. Is the chillet attacked and it shouldn't have? Because then it just instantly dies. All right, hard code battle. Here we go. Like I said, as long as the chillet doesn't kind of screw me over, we should be pretty much good here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, see, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There we go. Little dodge action, and we're good. No problem. That's not good. Ooh! All right, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're running. Can those things hit me through pillars? I hope not. I'm too fast for you. What can I say? Oh. I'm loving this chiller right now. Oh, I need to stop running. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I'm kind of loving this chiller right now. Is that hitting? That's hitting. Well, that's not good. Oh, chill it! Don't chill it, please. Okay, come back. Oh, uh, right here. You can't hit me. Yeah, I need Chilla not to attack. Okay, we're fine. Alright, don't attack, Chilla. We're good. We're good. Me and you, together. We got this. I don't know why there's only one bullet in this, but I'll reload it anyway. Oh, crap. We're good. Alright, here we go. Why are you attacking, Chilla? There goes the Chilla. Alright, I have to do this on my own now. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up there a little bit. It's okay, though. Well, this is... Oh, I managed to escape. I'm better. Alright, here we go. Not doing as much attack damage as I'd like. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, I think we're chilling. Ow. That actually hurt a little bit. Oh, crap. Alright, we're rolling. Ugh, man, yeah, I don't, I don't like. Ow. Why is there two? Wait, huh? Is that Shadow Clone Jutsu? Like, what's going on here? Why is there two of them? Wait, no, I'm like actually super confused. Wait, why is there a second? Wait, is this a glitch? Oh, 
Oh, please. Let's go, baby! Woo! That was close! Oh, that was close. That wasn't even funny. Oh, holy crap. Oh. Oh, that had me scared. I, I messed up with the Chillet a little early on. Where I, I got the Chillet killed too early. Oh, Lord Almighty. Alright. We got through it. We only got one left. There's the hats. We just got one left. And the name is Saya and Celine. Alright, everybody. Gopin is back alive. I think it's time, right? Uh, Hold on. I need another cheeseburger. Do we got any more burgers in here? No, I think I got some more cooking over here, though. Yoink. Okay, so... Let's go ahead. Hit up a carbonara for A1. Cheeseburger for me. I think we're all ready to go. We can even hit two health pots on both. Saya and Celine. Moonflower Tower. Here we go. I remember when we first tried it, even in normal mode. I think we struggled a little bit. But honestly, that was before I figured out like, how to actually be good at the game. So, now that we're a little smarter, a little bit more informed, I mean, shoot. All right, we're pressing V. Here we go. I'm hoping Jetragon can survive for a little while. Hopefully not die instantly. If I got to ride it, I can ride it too. Okay, here we go. F 500,000? Okay, I don't know how I'm not hitting. Maybe I'll use my assault rifle for a while. I think we're pretty good on time to be on... Oh, I'm going to hit. Am I going to... I think I'm... Oh, psych. Well, that's going to hurt me, isn't it? Okay, everyone. So, I had to spend a little bit of time farming, grab some more missile ammo. I'm also going to grab my other four uh, guided missile launchers. Alright, here's the other deal now. We need to find our gobfins. Where in the world did my gobfins go? And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab three of them. And then I'm going to grab two chillets. Only because I seem to have my first one die a lot. Alright, let's grab this chillet. Okay, here we go. Nope, wrong one. Alright, what could go wrong? Um, Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Like, it's already proven... That I can do that much damage. As long as I'm smart with my chillets, we should be chilling. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna go into this hard mode. Oh, I forgot my, I forgot my burger. You know what? Hold on. Nope, I'm not playing around, man. Get making these missiles like is not fun, actually. Oh, I'm so dead. Psych. Alright, here we go. You guys have seen all of the stupid, stupid deaths. I think this is going to be the one. Saya and Celine, we've got the chillet. We've got the multi-guided missile launcher. I have done this fight enough times to know the attack patterns. And I say that and I still get hit. Um, I would love to make an excuse. I don't got one. Okay. Uh, but we're good. I mean, this is nowhere near the difficulty of any other raid bosses. So we're fine. The, you know, the, the amount of lenience I can have in this fight is surprisingly large. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's grab our second chillet. I brought a few for this exact reason. Apparently, I'm just not too bright. All right, but we got it either way. We've got all the right tools. And uh, 
you know, just like in real life, you just need one, right? So I lost my first chillet and that sucks, but it's okay because I got another. And if, you know, if I can make the best of this one, that's all that matters. Here we go. Um, <coughs> I'm choking here. Oh my god. 350,000. Yeah, we still got two chillets. We're looking good. We got ammo. I made a whole bunch of ammo before this because I lost this fight only a couple hundred thousand times for no reason. Uh, usually in this instance, I would say like, hey guys, this fight's really hard. It's not. I, I just couldn't adapt, uh, you know, dodge the attacks. But, you know, we're rolling, we're rolling. Uh, yeah, like once you kind of get used to these attacks, yeah, it's not too bad. Most of these attacks are pretty easily dodgeable, to be honest. I think there's like one that catches me here and there, but... Like, this thing is fine, you know. Like, yeah, you just dodge it. The icicles, you just gotta go fast enough. This thing, if you're riding a chillet, is very easy. That floor attack right there doesn't even attack for, like, 20 seconds once it spawns. Yeah, this thing, you just, again, run fast enough, you you just jump out of the way. No problem. I'm trying to think of what other attacks it has. Oh, it has that one. Which, you just walk sideways and jump one time. So that's not too bad either. Um, I think this is the one that I get hit by the most. But then you just walk to the right and you're good. So, that one's not too bad. Yeah. You gotta watch out. Um, you just saw it in front of you. It kind of spawns a few more Selenes. Uh, if you don't take those out quick enough, they will cause you some trouble. I also hate that attack right there. That thing blows. But yeah, just make sure to take out the other Selene's quick, or you'll be in a little bit of trouble. That was one of the bigger mistakes I made, and that's why I lost so much. Don't walk that way. 30,000? Yeah, this fight's breeze, dude. It's a breeze. Get yourself a chill it. That's all you need, I'm telling you. And then, uh, it'll take a minute to learn the, uh, you know, the attack pattern, but it's really not that bad. Alright, we're almost there. We're gonna snatch your wig. Give me your hair piece. Actually, this is the one thing I wish this game had more of, is, like, customizable. Like, I'm telling you right now, I'm fat in real life, bro. Like, I don't feel represented. <laughs> Alright, guys, so here's what I want to do. And this is something that I don't think this game gets enough appreciation for. We're going to go ahead and go to our graphics. We're going to go ahead and make them epic, alright? Let's go ahead and make those changes. So now we're in epic. Let's go do some sightseeing because a lot of people, I don't think, seem to realize how, like, actually beautiful this game is. I mean, I know a lot of it is like, you know, they're using, like, what's what's the word? Like, not like, not like stock images, you know what I mean? Like, they already have the building blocks and they kind of just, like, piece it all together. But, dude, this map is great. Like... The fact that you can kind of see this whole map just like this, and it's just rendered out so nicely. Like, I'm telling you guys, I'm genuinely, like, impressed with the map. I love the map. I love how it looks. I love the fact that you can see the entire thing. It, was that a meteor? Oh, no, that's my own wing sparkles. So I thought we could, just for maybe, like, ten minutes, take a look around. Uh... We're going on a on a hike, you know, a virtual fat boy hike. The first thing I want to do is go up into the sky as much as possible. This is something I do in every game, and I'm sure everyone, every single one of you guys does this in every game. It's I think it's like a human thing of, like, the first thing you want to do is, like, yeah, how high can I go? I think, is this the limit? Okay, this is the limit of height. Now, we also just happen to be, I think, at the highest point in the game, so it's kind of unfair, but, yeah. Look at that tree. I know, dude, Valheim has, like, a similar thing with, like, a large tree in the distance. And I think both games, like, plan on incorporating them. At least I hope. Because if they didn't incorporate this tree into, you know, the map somehow later in future updates, that would be a shame and a half. But, yeah. We can even see, like, look, that, you know, that's one of the islands. The other island's over there just out of view. The other one's there. We've got... What, what other things can we see? Just, like, that stand out. Obviously, this, this is the new island right here. We've got the mountain. We've got the desert in the back. I'm trying to think of, like, any major landmarks. Again, the whole point of this is kind of the sightsee, so... Okay. 
Well, the first thing I wanted to appreciate is this mountain. I think it looks pretty neat. Obviously, the textures aren't 4K. That lava doesn't really look like lava, but it's okay. Um, it, I'm trying to, like, what is it? It just looks like burnt tomato soup. But, luckily for me, I actually love tomato soup, so it's okay. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... I'm probably going to be doing some cutting here because not everything is beautiful all the time. But, yeah, if I find things that I think look very nice, um, I'm going to cut to them. And there's even some other interesting things that I want to talk about. One of them that I've been thinking about a lot. Let me get some stamina up. And actually, it's right there. Dude, oh my god, I'm on fire. Across the map, I've been seeing these large bones. And if, you, if there's some form of theory online, link me to the forum or the video. Tell me where to find it. I'm curious, man. Like, there's these gigantic bones of, I'm assuming, pals of the past. I want to know more about these things. Like, dude, this thing is massive. For some reason, I have a deep, deep fear of very large creatures, but also a pretty deep fascination. I, I love them. Like... Things like Cthulhu and World Eaters, it's just things of that sort. I just, I love to death. Um, so yeah, that's why, like, you know, Subnautica is one of my favorite games of all time, even though I never finished it, and I can't finish it because it scares me, but the game is good. It's a good game, and the giant sea creatures are part of it, you know? So, I wonder what this is. I know it's kind of a long-winded way of saying, wow, that's a lot of bone. Cool, I wonder what it looked like. And honestly, I think this this part of the mountain is pretty neat here with, uh, okay, yeah, with like the lava flowing down and some of the terraces. I think this is a neat part of the map. I like it. Okay, I think this is another part of the map that I really appreciate. I think the whole medieval castle look is really cool. Uh, obviously, and I've heard this a lot online too, it would be really, really nice if some of these buildings were actually filled in a little bit with more people, more objects. It's a little bare bones, okay? But the concept is really, really nice. I mess with this. Anything castle themed, medieval, I, I, you know, it's just, it's pleasing to my eyeballs and I like them. So we'll, we'll, we'll set this destination as a uh, interesting place. Number one, very low on the list, but I like it. You know what? Let's go ahead and stop by the neighbor. These things, very popular in this game and in other games, kind of like Ark. And these games that are not like taking place in the past, because I don't think we're in the same galaxy as us. But it feels like, you know, this is old and then this is futuristic and new and, you know, precursor society. But. That entire concept I also really love and I think it looks really nice and again gets the mind going of like what was here before us what was here before pals what was here before the player clearly something advanced something way beyond us so anyway this is really really cool I, I don't know what it is I don't know what it's supposed to do but whatever it is I really like it and you know what? Now that I'm kind of taking a look around, I'm finding a surprising amount of these monk effigies. Yoink. And look how cool this little river is. I think this looks super cool. Especially that there's, you know, water creatures and leaf creatures kind of scattered around. I like this little river. Man, I mess with churches too. Look how cool this looks. The statues also I'm a really big fan of. Hopefully we'll we'll stop by one of the Flygon statues. Hence player stats. Sadly we don't have enough effigies yet. But I, I really like the Jetragon statue. Which again hopefully we'll stop by. And I don't have any dog coin on me. I, maybe I should have brought it with me so I could buy a few potions. But And I think there was a, a little something over here that I wanted to look at. And sadly it's becoming night time. That's the other thing, is viewing some of this stuff in the nighttime can just, can be as cool as viewing them in the nighttime depending on where you are. But this rock right here, I think will give us 
a nice little look at that bro look how nice that whole water water thing is oh my god look at this cliff you can even see the oil rig in the background oh okay come on guys you get a view of the whole ocean dude how cool is this you even get a giant view of whatever that is Oh my god, I totally forgot about that bridge. We need to go see that bridge. That's I think that's the starting area, right? Man. And again, we're catching it at sunset. We're not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna come here. Well, actually, I put the night night speed to increased, so maybe I will just stand here until nighttime or until daytime. Dude, Jesus, man. Um because, uh, to be fair, a lot of things aren't going to look very good in... Bro, what is with the my Wumpo Botans, bro? Like, can y'all chill? You know what? Let me go. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just trying to enjoy the ar architecture. Please leave me alone. Man, look how sick this is. Oh, look. at de de Depicting the two legend uh, legendaries up north. How cool is that? That is a really cool bridge and then this scenery or this like landscape being red is also really nice gives a, a different flavor you know gives uh the concept of it being like a completely different biome hey what's up that's my house where are we even at okay oh look at that in the distance i want to go there no wait how did i like walk past them that's so weird yeah this is what i'm talking about right here out of my way dude look at this this thing is is this the head is that the hip what 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 is that is this the head yeah bro, this this is that that that's a rock i can't tell that the shorman tide stuck up in here but yo what is this dude whatever pal this was or whatever creature this was it was not okie dokie it's dead now, so it is okie dokie. But uh, it wouldn't have been okie dokie. Man, see now that I, I just like step in places, and I'm like, man, I need to go see it. See, like, hold on, I need to go see this view right here. This view is probably gonna be nasty. Are there shiny? Where? Where am I seeing all these shinies, man? I'll take a little shiny bee guard. I want to go on top of this. There we go. Oh, look out. Okay. Was I already... No, no, no. I wasn't here. I've never seen this egg in my life. Look how... See, now I can kind of get a better look of the bones. Things a little cloudy up here, but... We get a nice little... Is that... No, that's not the goblin territory. Where's the goblin territory at? There's the sand... I think... Maybe the sand area is, like, one of the places where I actually don't appreciate it, though. <laughs> I, I don't really like the sand areas. I, I, it just doesn't make me happy, like some of these places do. Like, this makes me happy. The sand is not. I hate sand. It's rough and coarse. It's annoying, and it gets everywhere. I really like this right here. This is pretty cool. I would drink this entire lake lickety-split. Like, I don't know why this water looks so delicious. You don't even know, dude. I'd start chugging so fast. Alright. This is another one of those areas that I really like. Just so happens to be near my base, too. But, man, look how cool this is. Another kind of lake slash waterfall feature. I just, this entire, like, basically cliffside right here is really cool. I'm trying to find a spot to, like, appreciate it a little bit more. Like, maybe this? I think this, this might be... Honestly, there's a pretty decent view from my from my base, like, right, right here, maybe? From right here? Yeah. Look how sick this is, man. And we're even kind of getting into the border of the snow biome. I think this is really cool. And honestly, some of these places I haven't visited like I should. Like, I've never even been down here. Like, over here. What, what's... Look at this little tiny 
area. Is there anything in here? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Oh my god, I'm lost. Help me. Alright, we're good. Get back on the ride here. And look how cool that is. This entire area is astounding, bro. This is cool, too. I love the, the, the trails going around the side of the mountain. I think that's pretty neat. This place is really nice. There's even a skill fruit tree up here. Yoink. Oh, yeah. I think this is the spot for the desert. This, this is the spot right here. Look how cool that is. You got the entire ocean under you. It's a shame because we're so far away that a lot of it even kind of still looks poopy. Because we're so far away, but... I think this is definitely the spot. We've got the town right there, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, and that's another, this is another part of the map. This right here, the giant slope. Back when we didn't have Jetragon, this slope would be terrifying. Because you would be essentially stuck. Now it's not so scary, but... Man, I remember kind of first playing the game, looking at this area here and just, like, being, like, terrified. Like, genuinely, like, I don't want to fall. Scared the crap out of me. But, yeah, it is really nice. And another giant thing of bones. Dude, what was this? And then there's like a bunch of little t little tiny carcasses. Again, if you guys know anything about these, tell me. Oh, the big one in the middle. I totally forgot about that one, too. Right, come on, render in, please. Where the audience? Yeah, this is cool. It'd be even cooler if it was rendered in a little bit, but... Yeah, the bones, man. Look at them bones. I'm trying to think, is that bone bigger? Is that... I think this bone is bigger than that bone. That's crazy. Like, what happened? Did they get wiped out? Did, like, were they too big to sustain themselves? I don't know. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to get on top of the mountain. Man, up here is not a bad spot either. Right at the tip of the mountain. Let's try to... Ooh, what? Ooh right here. This is also one of my favorite places. Kind of right there. But I didn't even think about maybe starting from here. But this is by far like the best ski slope in the game. Look at that fall, dude. Look at that. You can even see. I like coming up high because you can see even more things that you didn't even notice before. Actually, you can even see the bases funny enough. Like there's one of my bases. Can I see any? Of my, where's where's my other bases? I can't. I don't even remember now. Um, I don't know what that is. But that looks super cool. I don't know what that is. That's a human-made structure, right? That's not like a giant, like, uh, vertebrae of something. So there's a giant wall around there. Hmm. But yeah, this is cool right here. Okay. Let's get down the best way possible on the lope. Again, this is why I like this place, because it's a good little ski area. I think we'll we'll start heading maybe towards the new area too, but first things first. Oh my god, bro, look at that speed. Look at that speed. Just straight down. Dude, how cool is that? Do a little detour. Oh, the frozen lake, I guess. Shout out Frozen Lake. Under I think this area here is also underappreciated. I hated the area at first because it was hard and it had a lot of hard pals and I would die from the cold and stuff and it was hard to traverse, but now that we've got the pals, I really like this. This was also early game where I kind of came and got some crystal, which is a terrible idea because there's like no crystal here. There's so many better places to go, but I think right here is probably the best of this area. So we have a little bit of architecture. Got the nice custom tree, okay. Sadly, again, not much to do. Bro, no way you guys are attacking me. Ow. Well, I'm taking a point off for gang violence.
Have you guys ever just, like, gone in that direction to see if you can get to the tree? Probably. So let's do it together. Let's see how far will it let me go. I'm actually curious, like, for myself. Like, I can't actually get there, can I? It has to stop me soon, right? There's going to be an invisible barrier soon. Yep, right there. You can actually see it in the water, too. Dang it, I actually thought maybe they'll, like, let me close. I mean, we're pretty darn close, though. Like, look, the land is right there, man. I, like, almost wish I could break. Yo, there's, like, gotta be a way I can break in. I know there's gotta be a way, and I I'm sure this is just, like, a giant JPEG, and there's actually nothing over there or something, but... Why is it, like, all red? Can you not go red on me? Look how cool that is. Bro, let me in! I'm trying to see if I can spot, like, anything. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to find any crazy Easter eggs, but... Oh, look at this. Wait, have we seen this yet? Am I... I think... I think we might have already been here. Have I been here? I don't know. You guys are going to have to remind me. At this point, I'm just going to get lost in all the random places... Oh, this is cool. Oh, let's go visit that Jetragon statue. I, I wanted to see one of these. I think there's... Actually, this is the one that I was looking for, I'm pretty sure. Look how cool this thing is. There's a few of them scattered around the map. I think this is so cool. Even, like, the positioning. It just... It really makes Jetragon look really, like... I hate the word, but, like, epic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like that. That's him, you know? He's standing on business. Oh, this is cool, too. This this little area right here, I appreciate a lot. Look at this bridge. Again, it, let's just say we're just like a normal player with no flying pals, no riding pals. Yo, how nasty is this? This is uh, another area of note here. This is pretty cool. I know we've seen it kind of from high above. Look how cool this area is right here. Like a giant prehistoric but also advanced coliseum. That's pretty neat, man. Look at that waterfall. Yo, this. Oh, I'm gonna choke, dude. Look how cool this is right here. I'm trying to think, there was there's one specific rock that I thought was so neat. Oh, this is really cool here, too. This is a unique area. So we're kind of in the middle of the red. Dude, I want to go see that bridge. Totally forgot about that bridge. Where's, like... Oh. Okay, I thought that was a spine for a second. I was about to freak out. Like, bro. Oh, let me get on top of this real quick. You know, Let's bring in the fang. Boink, boink, you know what I mean? Just a little jump. Collect all those. Oh, look how neat that is. Okay, let's go towards... Where was that bridge at? Yeah, let's go to that bridge. You know, McQueen might be a little bit more useful in this department. Let's get off the lope. Speed. Speed. Oh, that right there. That could be a cool spot too, right on top of that. What is okay? That wasn't a bone. This is also a pretty cool area. When I had my little sister on for a little while. Oh, that's the rock that I was talking about right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a neat rock. I sound. Oh my God! What is that? Did we already see this? I swear, did we already see? Okay, we'll have to check it out again. Holy crap! That's is that the biggest one we've seen? Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Look how neat this little area is. When my sister first played with me on the server, that's where we built her base. Obviously, I'm in single player now, but... And do you guys want to get off the bridge? Buttholes. But yeah, this is... Cool, and I, I love how there's actually, like, steps to come up here and everything. Which is cool. The bridge itself has these, like, you know, posts so you can kind of... Bruh, bruh, you know? 
Obviously, we're so far into the game at this point. It's not going to really matter, but I appreciate the detail. All right, let me take a look at these bones. Yo, this is... Oh, this is by far the biggest creature we've seen so far. It's got to be. Look, this is only half of the rib cage. And is that its head? Bro. No way. Yeah, this is cool. I wonder what this looked like. Of course, we can't forget about... This is the starting area, right? Yeah, look, this is where we started and got lost. Because I didn't expect the starting area to be basically at the edge of the map. This place, I also have not really explored too much, surprisingly. Again, I don't think there's much to explore, but... That is a pretty cool building to start off in. Shiny? Where are you? Chicken! Yoink. Right, let me grab some stamina. Get on my way, sheep. Think. Okay, let's get to the other side. Yeah, like there's like an inside portion here. This place is cool. I've I don't think I've ever been on top of here. Yep, it shows that I've never been on top here because I didn't even grab the effigy. Let's see, can we see anything cool from here? Hmm. I don't know. I also feel like this is this might be a great fitting end to our sightseeing. You know, come back to where we started. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the fights, and maybe you guys enjoyed the little look around the scenery, too. I really liked it.